Yo les gens c'est Cimérian On se retrouve sur 2K19 et on va reprendre Là où on s'est arrêté la dernière fois Donc c'est à dire que là on vient euh, d'intégrer SmackDown What is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Oh, thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... I'm gonna miss it, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. What? You got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time to get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way. All right, this van was the last thing that my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. Je sens qu'à un moment ou un autre, ce van va être détruit. Je sais pas pourquoi. Excusez. Oh. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived. Oh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Quoi cette tenue là Et j'espère que je vais pas me faire appeler Buzz, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Snowy Pooh. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the Indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender oh, no. for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. Ceux-ci ne font pas partie de l'histoire principale, mais peuvent vous permettre de remporter des récompenses supplémentaires. Après un match secondaire, vous recevrez des récompenses selon vos performances. Un match bien noté remportera des meilleures récompenses. Tenez, bla 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 bla. Ok. Bluff, on s'en fout. Buzz, I was just watching NXT and then it hit me. Your gimmick that's finally gonna get me to the top. Listen to 
this. Adam Cole's evil twin brother, Cole Adam. Ok, on s'en fout. N'importe quoi. Oh, les trolls cool. Cool. Les guiboles. Mais n'importe quoi. Et se trouve de ces noms. Oh là là. No self control call. Call la bestiole. Quicona Rider. Queen va te faire queener. <rire> Rock and roll call. Ah mais c'est non. Call Queen, mais mon surnom serait... Cointé, oh la cointessence du ruby, oh là 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 oh, Mais ces idées, comment c'est le match Jinder Bon, on va parler à Baron. J'ai été dominé SmackDown Live pour plus de deux ans. Et puis vous vous venez et vous avez la chance d'être le numéro un contender. Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, <laughs> that looks good. I'm no stranger to battle royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. What? Yeah. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way. Mmh, 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 mmh. Je vais sûrement me faire lâter. J'aime pas du tout les batailles royales déjà. Ah remarque, euh... bah remarquez, ils ont peut-être changé leur système. Sur le 17, j'y mets pas du. pas contrer Oh, clearly on a 
position here. Euh, J'avais pas appuyé sur X, mais c'est pas grave. Ah non, merde, je l'ai déjà fait, ça lâche quoi. Ah j'ai encore fait la même prise Pas mal, pas mal. Allez, on va faire continuer. Bah, ils ont toujours gardé, ils ont, bah, ils ont, est-ce qu'ils aient gardé euh, leur euh, truc de 5 étoiles là Personifies the concept of every man for himself. All eyes are going to be watching. Haha, je suis pire dans la merde. Je passe, hein, je suis désolé. Tant 
Rusev Maczka Ooh, you know it. Taking the boots to him. On his first night here on SmackDown Live, Bowers has an opportunity to become number one contender. Le joueur doit gagner. Et bon, merci. He qualified for this match. He literally just wanted to do it. You have to take that up with Daniel Bryan for it. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. Check out Jimmy Mahal's offense. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. He's just so dominant. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Oh, Joe Raleigh showing us how to get it done. Oh, I think this man needs business. Cut right in the jaw. Well, what a shot. He's displaying classic offense here. Tiger <laughs> Woods making his statement as we speak. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Jinder Mahal playing one there. That landed perfectly. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Ty, I should have got the Oh, I think this man needs business. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Oh, uncork the big punch. Oh, huh. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He's left wide open here. Bon, ça sert à rien. Je l'éliminerai pas. Allez, on peut le faire. Pas 
inflicting some serious pain here. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Dropped like a bad habit. Oh, I think this man is in business. Alors laisse pas tranquille. What does Xavier Woods have in store? Wheelbarrow face buster. Nice. This one is over. The odds just swung in Xavier Woods' favor. That'll rattle your whole body. Well done. Ah, that could break a nose. Oh, fire! Remonte, remonte, remonte. Il attend quoi Jamais réussi à le placer. Ah mais j'ai perdu. Il m'a mis son finisher. Moi je peux faire recommencer. Good night. 
Man, Xavier Woods, what offense. Nobody comes back from this. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. That rider is a force within the ring. DDT! Lights out. He got him good there. There's no coming back from that. It's just a matter of time now. And it's Zack Ryder showing some agility. Look at this. Check out Corbin looking a little shaken here. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. You see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Me. Zack Ryder is on the attack now. Plenty of force behind that shot. That'll rearrange your face. One move after the other. It's devastating. Look at Mojo Rawley here. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. True. He's focusing on the face now. Right to the face. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, what a kick. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. It's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Xavier Woods connected with a good shot there. Wow. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moment. Oh, I think this man needs business. Here's a chance to win this. He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way. Oh, to oh. Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's he is in Buzz Briggs. Now that's what I call making a statement. Great offense by Baron Corbin. Oh, neck breaker. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even Hall is looking to end this. He's inflicting some stuff. This is all but over. Boom! What a right! So damaging. out of the way. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win. What does Buzz have in store? He's inflicting some serious pain here. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. Things just went from bad to worse for Jinder Mahal. Oh boy, he is rolling. A punishing strike. And the strike lands. Big time slam right there. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. Like you tell bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to Hunt. Tie in the face, taking some serious damage here. Right to the neck. Xavier Woods making his statement as we speak. The fists are flying fast and furious. What a combination. Did you hear that? What impact. Hi. Xavier Woods with serious reason for concern. Oh, I think this man needs business. Woods looks to be in some serious trouble here. Baron Corbin just changed the momentum of this match. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. What's Baron Corbin putting together here? Well executed. 
Woods looks to be in some serious trouble here. Gentlemen, Baron Corbin might have this one all sewn up. I think you're right, Corey. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Look at this. The knee. That was vicious. He's making a statement here with this attack. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. What does Buzz have in store? We're about to find out. Now he's gonna do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Can he finish him off here? Bon, si me compte, j'ai perdu. Ah oui Merci les gens. Par contre il me faut plus de contre. Hein. Excusez. What a debut on SmackDown Live! He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. <laughs> champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. Glorious. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Oh. J'espère qu'il ne doit pas le faire, moi. Now granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The US title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Bret the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once oh, US champion. Le temps de lire. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become US champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! This should be good. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week. Get lucky by winning a battle royal. And then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth because you have no idea what you're talking about blah 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 heard that one before i've been at this for 20 years now that's two decades of leaving everything that i have in that ring night after night and what have you been doing wrestling one maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym so you have no right to come out here and say that i am just a catchphrase 
because I have proof that I can back up everything that I said. What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? Mm -hmm. The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please continue. <laughs> okay. If you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. <sighs> Donc un Iron Man match, en sachant que j'ai que deux contre. <rire> ah, comment je le sens pas. De toute façon, on va pas faire tout de suite euh, le match, je vous le dis les gens. Bon, je passe comme d'hab, les gens, vous avez l'habitude. Attention. Glorious Voilà, excusez-moi. C'était pour le plaisir. Hein. Ah ah ah, il a 4 contre en plus. Aïe, ça sent... C'est... Ça va être triste. Euh, du coup, les gens, eh ben, je vous dis à plus et à la prochaine.